Chuck. Yes. We got Earth Day in the house. Woo! Now, now, okay. You are you are, you are green. You are greener. Every time I learn more about you, you are more green than I previously knew you to be. As a matter of fact, yes. Um, yeah, no, it's a beautiful thing. That, that's, yeah. that's beautiful. But what concerns me, okay, it's like, do you remember back a few years a few years ago there was the science march on Washington? I was there. Okay, I, I, what deeply concerns me is that we needed a science march. <laughs> 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 that should not be necessary. Yeah, all right. Uh, <laughs> so the fact that we have an a day committed to Earth that should not be necessary. You're right. It every is day, sad. Every that day should necessary. be Earth Day. That's it's just everyone every day should be appreciating Earth and that is not how that's been going. But the fact that we have to be reminded of these things, I guess that we, that's how you got to do it, right? Yeah, right. Once a year, and so uh, Earth Day, um, <laughs> people keep talking about save Earth, right? Earth, Earth don't care. Earth, right? Earth, Earth, Earth is here with you and without you. Earth is like honey badger. Earth don't care. Okay. You going to run away greenhouse gas? Guess what? Earth don't care. Earth, Earth gonna be is here. still Earth is still Earth going to be here. You will be extinct. You will right. be extinct. You won't be here, but Earth will be here. Earth don't care. Okay. Earth, the planet is here to <laughs> mm -hmm. stay. Oceans are made of acid now. Guess what? Earth don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so all this stuff to save Earth what people really mean is save life on Earth or save right. us on Earth. Right. So it's more parochial than, say, planet Earth. The planet Earth was here when the asteroid took out the dinosaurs. That's a right. rock the size of Mount Everest. Earth was here before, during, and after that. All right. So let me ask you this, since you brought up the dinosaurs, which I find um, kind of um, intriguing. By the way, if they had a space program, probably they would have deflected the asteroid and they'd still be here. <laughs> yeah, and we'd be snacks. <laughs> Snack, the, the, the tasty tidbit. Right, exactly. Mm. <laughs> Scurrying underfoot. <laughs> and by the way, did you know the evidence for why they'd still be here? It's no. very excellent evidence. Okay, you want to hear it? Okay. Go ahead, yes. So, uh, the dinosaurs were around for like 200 million years. I forgot the exact number, but it's around there. Million okay. years before the asteroid took him out. There you go. And how many years has it been since the asteroid? 65, 66 million, million years. years. So they were around for longer than the time that's around since they went extinct. That's that is exactly what I was about to ask you, but go ahead. Okay, so now here's what's even better. You ready? Go ahead. Do you remember the, the, the uh, who's the one with the plates on the back spine? Stegosaurus and Stegos is one. Stegosaurus. Do you realize the time between the last appearance of Stegosaurus and the rise of T-Rex is longer than the time since T-Rex went extinct. Wow. So in other words, we are closer in time to T-Rex than T-Rex was to Stegosaurus. Wow. Look at so that. So this, this is what I'm saying. So this, they just were unlucky. Now, yeah. so Earth Day, we're trying to protect Earth from our own forces. But really, we should be protecting Earth from rogue asteroids as well. Fold that into all of the ways we want to protect life on Earth. Yeah, and, asteroids and, are up there going, we did it before, we could do it again. Um, we'll take your ass out again. That's right. <laughs> They're all talking to each other like, okay, so Apophis, <laughs> give us a report. <laughs> well, I missed him this time. I couldn't get to the keyhole. But guess what? Next time, I'm shooting. <laughs> okay, I got to tell people what the keyhole is. So right. there's certain trajectories where they don't hit Earth, but if they go through this point in space, Earth's gravity can be just right, or rather just wrong, so that the, so that the <laughs> next time around it ends up hitting Earth. Right. And yeah. call that a keyhole. If it comes a little closer, then Earth's gravity will swing it harder, Swing it farther away a little too. If it if it misses it the other direction, it'll go too slow. So if it's just right through the keyhole, then it will hit Earth. So it's an interesting name for it, and I think it's well named. But a keyhole implies there's something you want on the other side. That's, and that's true. Definitely not the case here. Yeah, we don't want to unlock our impending doom. Correct. Yeah. And it wouldn't be a problem if in the future we have like mining companies, let's say, that mine asteroids. Uh, I've said many times, surely the first trillionaire will be the person who 
exploits the natural resources on asteroids. If they can mine an asteroid, they can probably nudge it out of the way. So right. we get on the horn and say, hey, uh, we found an asteroid just discovered in our deep space network. It looks like it's headed our way. Could you just hop over to that and deflect it or take half of it away? <laughs> and then he'll say, I can for one trillion dollars. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that this is a Bond villain story here. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> For one trillion dollars. Exactly. <laughs> so, so yeah, protecting Earth, I think, um, can involve these other, these other ways. I mean, why not? And so I look forward to the day where we're so good at this that we can retire Earth Day. I mean, yeah, why not? That would be great. Right, yeah, because right. it says that our ever-present mentality is one where we appreciate it always, which we should. And, and we know never to take it for granted. Right. right. And under right. those situations, we wouldn't have needed Earth Day in the first place. So right. true. Yeah. Right, right, right. I don't know what it is about human beings that makes us take things that are so necessary for our survival for granted. It, it it's curious to me and I, I'm really puzzled by it. Like I maybe, think about it a lot. Chuck, it needs better marketing, maybe. I mean, because people say I don't like science and I don't like space and I don't like this. Okay. And right. they'll say, you know, I'm I'm fine with my, you know, weather.com and my <laughs> right and my direct TV, but I hate space and I hate this. So what you do is you sneak in in the dark of night and remove everything from their room that was inspired or invented by virtue of space technology. Right. And they'll wake up in a, in a cave. Yeah, they'll wake up naked. Uh, in a cave. Uh, cold in a cave. <laughs> in a cave. Right. Basically that. And so maybe we need those reminders. Once a year, that'll happen to you, and you have to reacquire all the technologies that you were taking for granted. Yeah. See, yeah, you know what? You're, it's, I'm, yeah, you're absolutely right. Because even when you think about the burning of fossil fuel, it's greed that, that, has, that has driven that for many, many years. Well, greed drives know. so much of everything, but that greed in particular had consequences, right? right. I mean, right. greed, greed is greed is greed. I mean, that's, well, it's, oh, it's my good. God, you sound like Gordon Gecko right now. Greed is, <laughs> greed is good. <laughs> uh, uh, greed. <laughs> greed. Is good. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I'm saying this, if people, if everyone were scientifically literate, yeah. even the greedy would always look for better ways to make money. So even if I were the guy who owned uh, the, the oil company. This is my point. My this being is... scientifically literate would say, well, this is really an inefficient way for me to power stuff. And it's only a matter of time before it's obsolete. Let me look forward and I'm going to invent this now. And, because you know, I'm greedy. Because I'm greedy. Yes, right. exactly, exactly. Now let me let me try to make um, all these other power sources affordable and cheap and easy. Because then I will become rich for doing so. Because I'm greedy. Right. right. So you just have to shift the greed vector into the green direction. Right. And maybe that's not what not enough people are thinking to do that because they think that any greedy capitalist is necessarily anti-green. Right. And they might start out that way, but ultimately they're all, they're all gonna have to switch that around. Uh, yeah, that's and, right. And they kind of did it. it. Is it called Mobile Oil Company anymore? I don't think so. Uh, I don't okay. think so either. It, all right, the, the oil was taken out of all of those names. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. A Exxon is not Exxon Oil, or it was. At Actually, one it's Exxon Mobil, right, right. Exxon Mobil. And they see themselves as energy companies. So they're, they're, right. they're getting ready, they're priming the pumps. Yeah. For, for this future. Yeah, yeah. So, exactly. yeah, I'm, I'm, that's fine. So listen here, you granola, Birkenstock, hippie-wearing <laughs> suckers. <laughs> get on the game, and let's get some capitalism so we can end this, this, this global warming thing, because only greed, only greed is going to help us, okay? <laughs> Birkenstock-wearing. Right, sitting around all earth and crunchy <laughs> while we all die, okay? Put, put your tie-dye down, Okay. <laughs> Stop smoking your weed for a second and let's get on this. Let's make some money on this, damn it. That's the only way we're going to win. <laughs> That's a whole other outlook right there. I should write an op-ed with that, with that point of view. Exactly. Greed is good. Greed is mm. good. Let greed save the earth, dog. Greed and green, baby. Greed and green. Let's make it happen. Mm, mm, mm. All right, Chuck. That's, that's going to be our Earth Day. Uh, our Earth Day deposit into the <laughs> into the 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 din of all everyone's chance 
of how we need to save Earth going forward. There you go. All right. All right. That Chuck, always good to have you. Always a pleasure. Neil deGrasse Tyson, you're a personal astrophysicist. Keep looking up. <laughs>